It's one thing to make money by actively working for it, but can you actually make money while you sleep or sit on the beach? Like, is that real? Yes, that's real. A year ago, if you would have told me that I would be making 10, 15, $20,000 per month online passively, I would have told you no way. But that's exactly what's happening to me right now. And I wish that somebody would have told me the things that I'm going to tell you in this video years ago when I was first getting started. And the best part about all of this is that you can start with as little as $1,000. That's what I was able to do. And I can promise you this right now, if I can do it, Every single person watching this video can do it as well. As far as I'm concerned, there are three levels of making passive income. And the first level, we'll call it the easy level. Easy passive income is exactly what it sounds like. Incredibly easy to earn. But because it's so easy, it also means that the amount of passive income that you'll earn will be lower. But that's fine because eventually you will start earning higher passive income, which we will talk about very soon. But the first type of easy passive income that you can earn are dividends from dividend stocks. Dividend stocks are arguably the easiest way to earn passive income. All you need to do is just buy shares of dividend stocks such as Coke, Google, and Home Depot. And then after you buy the stocks, well, that's it. You just sit back and start collecting dividend paychecks every few months. I've actually got a really good video on this channel where I go into details about how exactly you can get started with investing for dividend income. Definitely check out that video on my channel after this. But essentially, when you own a stock, you own an actual piece of the company. And so that Coke stock that you own, yeah, you're technically a part owner of Coke. And because Coke pays dividends from the profits that they earn and you are a part owner or a shareholder, you're entitled to a piece of that profit. Now, another very simple similar type of easy passive income are dividends from dividend ETFs. Many of you know by now that I love ETFs. In fact, my wife is often very suspicious of my love for ETFs. Are you cheating on me with ETFs? Um, <laughs> No. Basically, an ETF or an exchange traded fund is a type of investment that holds hundreds and even thousands of different stocks at once. And so now, instead of owning just Coke, you can own Coke and 3,000 other stocks by investing in just one single ETF. Now, I've got several videos on my channel talking about the best dividend ETFs to invest in, but basically, if you don't want to watch those videos, you can't really go wrong with investing in dividend ETFs like SCHD, VIG, and VYM. In fact, I collected a $100 paycheck just last Last week from owning shares of SCHD. And just like owning shares of dividend stocks, all you have to do to get started is just buy shares of the ETF, sit back, and start collecting those passive paychecks. Another very easy way to start earning passive income from the comfort of your home is by investing in REITs. A REIT, or a real estate investment trust, is very similar to an ETF. The difference is that where most ETFs invest in stocks and bonds, REITs invest in actual physical real estate. And so if you've always wanted to own real estate, but you don't have $50,000 just lying around to go and finance a physical piece of real estate, you can simply invest in a REIT. Basically, the way it works is REITs invest in all different types of real estate. Everything from shopping centers, office buildings, apartment buildings, hotels, and even single-family homes. The REIT leases these spaces and collects rents on the properties. These rent payments are then distributed as dividends to the shareholders of the REIT. And so, very similar to a dividend stock or ETF, the difference being that REITs only invest in real estate. Some of the best REITs to invest in to earn earn passive income include NLY, NRZ, and AGNC. And so just as an example to show you how much passive income you can earn by investing in REITs, let's take a look at NLY. Let's say that you invested $1,000 into NLY, which at its current price of about $6.50 would buy you about 154 shares of the REIT. By doing a really quick Google search, I can see that NLY pays an annual dividend of about 88 cents per share. And so if you multiply your 154 shares by the annual dividend of 88 cents, it gives you 135 dollars and 52 cents which is how much money you would earn every year in passive income by investing in this REIT. Certainly not life-changing money but it's very easy money to earn and because we are currently on the easy level of passive income earning most of these passive income streams although very easy to do won't be very lucrative. We'll talk about those passive income streams very soon and the last easy way to earn passive income is through cryptocurrency staking. Like a lot of things in the crypto world staking can either be a very complex idea or a simple one depending on how many layers of under understanding you want to unlock. For the sake of this video, I want to make it very clear that you don't need to have a lot of knowledge about cryptocurrencies, blockchains, or even bored apes to begin successfully earning passive income through crypto staking. User-friendly platforms like Coinbase make crypto staking incredibly easy and mostly hands-off. Now, I'm not even going to pretend to be a crypto expert. I'm not, but I do know enough. Let's say, for example, that you're ready to start earning passive income by staking Ethereum. All you'd have to do is go to Coinbase, buy some Ethereum, and then start staking that Ethereum. 
Ethereum. An easy way to sort of think about all of this is that it's similar to how a savings account works. When you put your money into your savings account, the bank pays you interest on the money in your account. The same is true with crypto staking. When you stake your Ethereum, for example, it's going into a staking pool where it's then being used to perform various complicated activities such as verifying transactions. In exchange, you will earn interest on your Ethereum in the form of more Ethereum, which you can then turn around and sell for a nice profit. Moving on to the next level of earning passive income, the medium level. Medium passive income is relatively easy to earn, but does typically require a little bit more work to get up and running. And because of that, the passive income that you'll earn from this level will be a little bit higher. The first of these medium level passive income streams is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is the process by which an affiliate earns a commission for marketing another person or company's products. Let me give you a real life example of some affiliate marketing that I do. In the description of all of my videos, I'll include links. And most of these links are affiliate links. They're links to stock brokers, Amazon products, and other services. When somebody clicks on one of those links and then proceeds to buy the product or sign up for the service, I earn a commission from that. And so for example, just this month alone, I've earned close to $3,000 from just one of those affiliate links. And this is money that I'm earning passively. I am quite literally earning money in my sleep. And so right now I am in my dreams. And yet as I sleep, I'm making money. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, yeah, but Joshua, you have a YouTube channel. Your videos get views, and so more people click on your affiliate links. And yes, it's true. My YouTube channel is definitely helping with my affiliate marketing. But it is possible to do affiliate marketing without a YouTube channel, without a website, without a TikTok, without any of that stuff. For example, you could promote your links on your social media platforms to your friends and family. You can create a free ebook, but then include affiliate links inside of that ebook. You can post your link to forums and online communities. You can use pay-per-click ads on Facebook and Google to promote your affiliate link or you could use an existing platform like medium which gets millions of views per month and then create a product review on that website to get traffic there are so many ways that you can go about making money with affiliate marketing and there are entire free articles and guides online that can teach you how to do this step by step does having an active YouTube channel or TikTok or Instagram or website help with affiliate marketing yes of course and you can do those things but it's not the only way to earn affiliate income I know people who are earning millions of dollars doing affiliate marketing without any big social media following and so it's definitely possible the the next medium level passive income stream is through real estate crowdfunding. With websites like Fundrise, Diversity Fund, and Ground Floor, it's possible for you to invest in real estate with as little as $10 and start earning passive income through crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is the practice of funding a project or venture by raising many small amounts of money from a large number of people. And so when you invest, let's just say $1,000 with Fundrise, Fundrise will combine your money with thousands of other investors to then go acquire actual physical real estate, such as this single family home in two Tucson, Arizona, or this new apartment development in Palm Springs. You, as the investor, will then be able to collect dividend paychecks on top of watching your money grow through capital appreciation. And unlike buying, managing, and renting physical real estate, something that typically does require a lot more work, investing in real estate through crowdfunding is truly passive. Obviously, though, the more money you invest, the more passive income you'll earn. But you can start earning income with as little as $10. Another medium-level passive income idea is to sell digital assets or products online. Digital assets include things like Excel templates, PowerPoint or Keynote templates, printables, calendars, resume templates, digital planners, fonts, illustrations, patterns, you get the point. There are literally thousands of different digital products that you can sell online using various websites which we'll go over shortly. The good thing about selling digital products online is that you only have to make the product once. It's not like selling t-shirts or candles or jewelry where you have to continuously make the product each time someone buys it. That is definitely not passive and requires a significant amount of work and upkeep. But with digital products, the moment that you finish it and then list it online to sell, that's it, you're done. The product can sell an infinite amount of times without any additional effort on your part. And so the key for you is gonna be figuring out what you actually wanna sell. And ideally, you would sell a digital product that already has an existing market with proven success. And so a good example of this would be templates, fonts, graphics, things like that. Now, some of the best websites that you can use to sell digital products include Creative Market, Graphic River, Etsy, Redbubble, Gumroad, Society6, and even Canva. All of these websites have massive brand recognition and get a lot of really high converting traffic. And so as long as you're able to create a high quality product within a popular product niche, there's nothing else that you have to do on your part except wait for sales to roll in. I personally have been earning passive income selling website templates on Creative Market, Etsy, and another website called Template Monster for the past couple of years. And the best part is that I only spent two weeks making these templates about two years ago and have never made another one since. But I am still consistent 
consistently making a couple hundred dollars or more per month in passive income because these digital products continue to sell. Graphic design in the US is a $13 billion industry and continues to grow as more of the world moves online. And so why not get started now and capture a piece of that money pie? Moving now to the final level of passive income, difficulty level hard. The passive income that you'll earn on this level will be significantly higher than any of the other levels, but it also requires a lot more work. And the first passive income stream that I wanna talk about is my personal favorite, YouTube. Now, this one is tricky because there's definitely a side of YouTube that is not even close to being passive, but then there's a side that is passive. The non-passive side of YouTube is the obvious fact that you have to make videos. And depending on how many videos you produce a week and the quality and length of those videos, you could end up doing more work than you could imagine was even possible. The passive side is that once you begin producing content that people actually wanna watch and you strike a chord with the YouTube algorithm, then you will start making passive income. Because the video that you produce today although you did have to do work to produce that video, once posted, if it's a good video, will continue to be pushed by the YouTube algorithm and earning you money without you having to do anything. Now, the really hard part, aside from actually making the videos, is persevering and being consistent enough with posting to actually see the passive income start to come through. When I first started on YouTube, I was making two videos, sometimes even three videos per week, and I did this for about six months until I got my first 1,000 subscribers and was able to be monetized. I put in thousands of hours of work for no pay. Some would argue that that's not passive and I would agree. But because I persevered, I was able to eventually get monetized and to the point where I'm now doing YouTube full time and earning passive income. And so yes, you do have to do active work to make the videos, but once they're posted, you're finished. And the video will continue making you money because YouTube will push it. And so YouTube, while it's definitely not as passive as investing in a dividend ETF or stock and collecting a dividend paycheck, will make you significantly more money than investing in any dividend ETF ever will. The next passive stream of income that can produce significant amounts of money are creating online courses. And I'm specifically referring to creating courses on Skillshare because you could, in theory, build your own website, create a course on that website, and then through marketing or pay-per-click ads, get people onto your website to buy the course. Or you could make this as passive as possible, use an existing platform like Skillshare that already has hundreds of thousands of active users and publish your course on their website to be put in front of thousands of different people. There are people making anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars or more per month teaching classes on Skillshare with zero existing online presence. And so for you, the hardest part of this process is gonna be figuring out what you actually wanna create a course on and then creating that course. And both of these tasks, especially the last one, can be a lot of work. But this can also be an extremely rewarding passive income idea that could drastically change your financial situation if executed properly. And the final passive income stream that can produce significant profits is writing online. When I say writing online, I'm referring to three things specifically. Starting a blog, writing and selling ebooks, and writing on sites like Medium. Now, of these three, selling ebooks is probably the most passive of the three, but I don't want you to completely dismiss the other two ideas. Now, in regards to earning passive income with a blog, I have firsthand experience. I started my own personal finance blog about two years ago, but I haven't written a new article in almost a year. To this day, I am still ranking for hundreds of different popular keywords. As a result of that, I'm still getting really good traffic to my blog, and I'm earning money through the ads on my blog. And then on top of the ads, I'm also making money from all the different affiliate links that I've got scattered across my website. Now, I haven't done anything in over a year to scale the blog, but I am still earning passive income to this day. If I did want to scale it and earn even more passive income, I would just simply have to be more consistent and post more content. This, of course, would lead to more traffic to the blog, which would lead to more impressions on the ads, which would lead to more income from the ads and the affiliate links and additional opportunities like sponsored posts. Similar to a blog, writing and selling an ebook online can be extremely lucrative and passive. Because with an ebook, not only are you making passive income through the sales of the book, but you could also very easily incorporate things like affiliate links inside of your ebook, which would lead to even more income through affiliate marketing. What's even better is that you don't actually need a pre-existing audience to have a successful ebook. Websites like Amazon and Google Play are great places to publish your ebook because they already have massive audiences just waiting to spend money. And the same thing can be true using a popular website like Medium. Medium is an online publishing platform that incentivizes writers and bloggers by paying them through their partner program. Top writers on the platform have reported earning anywhere from $5,000 to as much as $50,000 per month. But I suspect that these figures are extremely rare. The more realistic figures that I saw while doing my research was writers earning anywhere from $100 to $500 per month. And just like with your blog and eBooks, Medium does allow affiliate links. And so writing articles about your favorite products and services and then including affiliate links inside of those articles is a 
really great way to earn passive income. But passive income aside, if you don't know how to properly manage and invest your money, then you will never be financially free. That's why I really think you should watch this video right here where I talk about how anybody can retire a millionaire even on a low salary. You guys are amazing and I will see you again very soon. Take care.